So, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for, for coming. And we are meeting at uh, Dell EMC Forum in Prague. Um, and the main topic today is hyperconverged infrastructure. So, uh, do you think it, it's, a, it's a just trend? It's something new, something trendy, or it's, it's let's say, nature part of IT and evolution of IT? We see the uh, hyperconverged uh, solutions is a major part of the IT transformation in companies. The data explosion, as you know, is got in bigger and bigger. 90% of the data that has been created has been created in the last two years, and it's growing exponentially. And we see that the companies are now struggling with the same budgets or even lowering budgets and to have to reach new demands for their businesses. And one of the ways to do it is to be uh, more efficient, more productive, and to have the um, new solutions that will allow them to be more agile at a much lower cost uh, for use. Uh, Ludiek, uh, do many th many people think that the, the hyperconverged infrastructure is just for big companies? It's just for big ones. It's it's very expensive. Uh, do you think it's it right, or it's uh, it can suit to to smaller companies? We are definitely, you know, trying to make this as accessible as possible. So that's why actually the entry points of VxRail, which is our product, which is the hyperconverged infrastructure itself, has a very small footprint. It's its form factor of one U server and it's really possible to use it even in small offices, branch offices or small companies. And we are actually seeing the demand from small companies as well, because it can sustain the whole data center architecture in a very small package. You all, you are responsible for bigger uh, region, so uh, we know that uh, usually Czech uh, IT persons are very conservative, and uh, they are usually waiting with uh, new technologies. Uh, can you compare the? approach of, of your customers uh, with Western Europe, for example? Yeah, of course we see if we compare it to Western Europe and of course to the US to take it even to the extreme, we see that the market is a bit more conservative, but still we see if we see the numbers in Western Europe and the US that the adoption rate is about 60% of the market. So here in Eastern Europe and in the Czech Republic, we see the numbers that are a bit lower, but still I think that about 35-40% of our customers today are already looking into these uh, environments. We're doing a lot of education, enablement workshops to the customers to teach them and to make them feel more comfortable with our solutions. And we see that already we have installations already in, in the Czech Republic, in Poland, in Romania, in a lot of the CEE countries. So we see that the adoption is growing. Very and much. do you think, do you see that the, during the time the approach of the customer customers is changing? Yes, we see that the early adoption is more in the branch office, more for isolated type of uh, uh, applications, but more and more as the comfort level is growing, we see it going straight into the core of the data center with the most critical applications. Ludiek, uh, can you say how the typical HCI customer looks like? Typical HCI mm -hmm. customer is very hard to see from outside. You know? So we are actually need to have this conversation with the customer to see how much it values it actually the you know most important parts of the hyperconverged infrastructure as we see, which is the bigger agility, the extremely short time to market. So it takes like five or six days, even for complicated implementations. And that's why we actually encourage our customers to have a conversation with us to actually, sometimes they do not know even for themselves if they are the right customer, you know, to up adopt it. Yeah, so even, even even update uh, or expand that is to say that nobody buys hyperconverged for the technology. Mm. Nobody buys technology. And I think our advantage at Dell EMC, we have a portfolio of products. So we meet our customers, we understand their business needs, and then we fit the right product and the right technology for that needs. So it can be hyperconverged in some spaces. In some spaces, it could be different technologies, like you know the uh, legacy storage or any other type of technology. So we come and we fit 
the technology to the needs. We don't just sell the technology. Sorry guys to be a bit skeptic, but uh, five days for this type of project, it looks like sci-fi, you know, it lo- usually three months, maybe six months, not five days. How is it possible? Uh, to be honest, the high level of automatization is one of the you know key important things for transform the data center. And actually the number of hours we've like engineered inside the solution it shows okay so the actually only the implementation which goes unattended for s- several hours and goes through hundreds of steps you would need to do manually otherwise well, is shortening that time quite significantly and of course the pre-populated scenarios in the management structure of the whole solutions gives you much more possibility to actually not do the stuff itself but actually run the scripts so mainly because the of the automatization and mainly because the predefined and pre-engineered workflows within the solution uh, hyperconverged and infrastructure is not uh, the thing only for the um, emc you are struggling with let's say big market with many competitors so my last question to both of you uh, what is unique on your solution why Uh, customers should uh, choose the Dell EMC uh, solutions rather than the competitors. I think that our solution with the VxRail Hyperconvert solution is very unique because we are the only company that is developing the solution together with VMware. So we have the vSAN is embedded inside the kernel. It has the best performance and availability because of that uh, solution. The development teams are joined. So some of the development teams are coming from EMC, some are coming from VMware. They're working together on the product. They're working together both to improve the vSAN and to improve the automation, as Ludek mentioned, to make it simpler, to make it error-free, and to make not only the installation part quicker, but we think it is more important the sustainability of the product. So the upgrades, the patching, everything is automatic throughout the life cycle of the uh, product. And of course, we are also incorporating the data protection solution suite that we have from Dell EMC to give a completely production ready infrastructure that I think has the big advantage in the market. It would be very hard to add anything. I think you, you, you've <laughs> nailed it qu- quite a bit. Uh, and I would like to add that we don't really fear competition. You know, We would like to be exposed to it. So I would like to encourage our customers to actually think about it and expose us to you know to competitive value to the proposition I think we are quite better set for satisfying the customer needs, so I'm really looking forward. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And my very last question to you, Yuval. Uh, how did you like the EMC forum, Dell EMC forum uh, this year in Prague? I was really surprised. I think the venue was amazing. Very high techy, very clean, very open. That allowed both a lot of people to be part of it, but also have different, uh, more discreet places to have personal meetings and one-on-one and interact with the customers. I think there was a lot of uh, <coughs> excitement in the crowd. The CIO event was also very encouraging, a lot of discreet discussions with CIO on their uh, personal business problems, what they're facing, what they're challenging. So I think the event was very good. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you Thank for hosting. You. Thank you.